Good morning gamers, it is me, Jork the Bork, and today I'm going to show you guys how to install IPA files directly on your iPhone without the use of any sort of third-party app like eSign or Scarlet. Using this website right here, MapleSigner, you can install IPA files and tweak apps directly onto your phone, which is really cool. So let's get right into it. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to this uh, eSign uh, website and install this DNS profile right here. And real quickly, let me... Uh, delete that because I already have it installed. Basically what this does is it allows you to install um, revoked certificates. And the reason why that's important is because usually there's only one certificate signed at a time. And sometimes this one certificate doesn't even work. So we wanna use this DNS profile and how you get to this is you go to uh, general VPN device management, and then you're just going to install this profile. And you might have to type in your iPhone password for that. And then you can see it will uh, be working just fine. So basically, when you have this DNS profile set up, you'll be able to um, sideload uh, apps and certificates that are already remote. Now, the next thing we need to do is actually get the certificate, because how Maple Signer works is you sign with your own certificate. There's a few ways to do this. Uh, you can go to the eSign page and download this big list of certificates. The problem is that sometimes they don't give you the full file, and we need both this mobile ProVision file and P12 file. So the easiest way to get both of those is to join the appleP12.com telegram, uh, which works in cooperation with eSign, and you can just scroll down and find a bunch of certificates. Now, all of these pretty much are revoked, so it doesn't matter which one you use. Sometimes some of the revoked ones work better than others, which I know is kind of weird. I think my personal favorite is this Aldo Group Inc. one. Uh, it's kind of far up on the list, so you just have to scroll up until you find Aldo Group Inc. But you can try any certificate here. I just like this one. And then you're going to click on it, and you're just going to save it to files. So you can just save it to on my iPhone, and I already have it, so I'm just going to replace it. And then you're going to head into files and find it, and you'll find the zip file. Click on it, and you'll see that it'll load up, and you have both the mobile provision, the .p12, and there is a thing with the password or read me with the password. You will need the password for Maple Signer as well. So now if we come over to Maple Signer, and obviously the link for this will be in the description, uh, you can see there's a bunch of stuff we have to enter. So we want to start out by choosing our IPA file. Uh, if you don't know how to get IPA files, I'm technically not allowed to show you, but I will include some IPA libraries in the description. Um, and also, if you need help finding a specific IPA, it's very easy. I'll give you a hint. Google is your friend for finding specific IPAs like Knowles Brawl or, you know, like um, anything. Just trust me, use Google. Anyways, you're going to want to find your IPA. I'm just going to do this like TikTok hack. And then for mobile provision, we're going to select choose file if it loads. Sometimes this site is really finicky. So what I like to do is just clear my history and then reload the site and see if it works. So I just cleared my history, reload the site. I think I'm just going to start by trying to do the mobile provision. Sometimes that helps. So obviously it's very simple. You just go into the um, uh, the folder that you made by unzipping the certificate, select the mobile provision, select the .p12 file, put in your app. So I'm going to do this TikTok thing. And then enter the password again that was on the readme file. So for this one, I believe it's Apple... Uh, p12.com. If you get them from the Telegram, it's basically always Apple p12.com like that. Um, and then we'll just make the name Tick Talk. Oops, I said Talk Talk, whatever, it doesn't matter. And then you want to select source store certificate and hit I'm sure. And then hit upload and sign. Now this part takes a while, so I am going to speed this up in the video. And then once it finishes, you're going to hit sign IPA. And then you need to let it load for another like 20 seconds or something before anything interesting happens. And there you go. So now we can hit install IPA and hit install. And then head on over to your home screen. And once again, this part is going to take a while. But you can see that it's loading. It's kind of hard to see because the app background is black. But you're just going to let this install. Right. 
And there you see the TikTok app is downloaded. So we're going to click on it. It says untrusted enterprise developer. As long as it installs, it's going to say untrusted enterprise developer. If it fails to install, and then you can go in and trust it and open it up. And obviously, you know, whatever app you did will now be working. Um, the big problem is when this app fails to install. Now, when that happens, it means the certificate, which is obviously already revoked, so that's not the problem. It means it's blacklisted on your phone, and even the DNS wouldn't be able to uh, fix that if it's already blacklisted. So there's a few ways you can fix this. Number one, you can go into the Telegram, and you can just try a different certificate. There's literally a thousand on here. You know, you can try the newest one. You can try the oldest one. You can see I scrolled up kind of a lot to get to that Aldo group. You can try this one, which is technically still signed, so that one's pretty solid, the Sunshine Insurance Group. Um, and if none of those certificates work, you try a bunch of them and none of them work, I have a guaranteed fix video um, that I will link in the description. I just made it like a week ago. It works every single time. It's really good. And I highly recommend you use it only after um, none of these certificates work. So that's pretty much all. As long as you keep this DNS thing on, uh, these apps will work no matter what. Um, there is one kind of weird thing, and that's if you want to update your phone, you can see when you have the DNS, you get an error. All you got to do is turn it off if you want to update your phone, but I wouldn't recommend doing that. Anyways, so that's pretty much all. If you guys want to see more like this, be sure to leave a comment and subscribe. If you have any problems, comment them down below and I will help you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.